Hey everybody, welcome back to the ch Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It's great to see you guys again, although I can't see you because you're you're actually just watching me, which is kind of creepy to think about. But anyway, today is December 21st. I'm recording this. Um, I'm hoping to get it out tomorrow. Nope. But anyway, four days till Christmas. Yay! So Merry Christmas to all my viewers and Everyone who's not a viewer, somehow getting this telepathically or something. Merry Christmas. Uh, it's the Christmas week. And as of that, BeamNG Drive has given us a Christmas holiday update. Uh, it was the content update, which was mentioned in my last video, which is the first part of, or the second, I guess, second part of the update 24. Uh, so this new update is called 0.24.1. So. Uh, it's the content update that they told us about in the last one and as you can see we got some brand new content from this wow. brand new update so this car we're gonna get to talking about this car right away so yeah this one's a content update so this adds more stuff to the game so today we're gonna be going over everything brand new in this holiday content update from BeamNG Drive so first car we have up here is the Gavril Bastion. Right? It's the Gavril Bastion, right? No, it's the Bruckle Bastion. You stupid. Ah, I messed up. Did I say Gavril Bastion in the first one? Bastion. It's not the Gavril Bas Bastion. It's the Bruckle Bastion, which makes more sense. Anyways, so here it is. And as I guessed from the screenshot, it's it's basically a modern Dodge Charger. Um, yeah, and it's loud. Big V8. Four-door sedan yeah what else what else did you suspect from this thing it's actually surprisingly one of the one of the first um, modern cars we got from beam engine drive in a very long time uh the last one came out like a year ago i think that was the um the the toe grace and the vivus um or vivus i don't know how you say it uh this version right here is the sport version which comes with a 6.5 liter v8 Pretty cool. It's a Dodge Charger, okay? It's BMG Drive's version of the new Dodge Charger. Of course, it's not the old Dodge Charger, it's the new one. Basically, it's got all the versions that come in real life as well. So, it, it's got lots of versions. You got your very basic versions, like poverty spec. There's an all wheel drive version? What? That's awesome. Uh, and then we have a taxi cab. Pretty cool. It's, it's, it's a taxi cab. I don't know what else to say about it. It's not yellow though, which is kind of disappointing for a taxi cab, but it's white and orange. Well, drives okay. I assume this is sort of like the base version, except it's got taxi cab stuff on it. And on the top, we have our taxi cab ad board thing. Uh, and it's got a turbo burger ad on it, which is pretty cool, which is a company in the BeamNG Drive universe. Uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Anyways, about the Bruckle Bastion, let's let's go into the interior. So here's the brand new interior for the Bruckle Bastion, and yeah, it's it's pretty pretty generic. This is this is the taxi cab, of course. So um, yeah, there's not too much in here. It seems like the base model for the taxi cab. So there's no like divider in it or anything that you would find, or the, like the toll thing uh, you would find in uh, in a, an actual taxi cab. But apart from that, uh, yeah, this is the this is the base model version interior. So stop with the stupid blinkers. Okay, I'm just trying to park here. Okay, so this one's got the fabric seats, obviously, because it's the base model. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Okay, um, you don't, I'm leaving. I'm leaving outside this, oh, that's why it's blinking. When did I do that? Yeah, let's just go over some of the versions and then we'll play with them afterwards. So we got the base models up here. We got our taxi cab. We got this Luke's version, which is probably like a luxury, uh, more luxurious version of the base model. And then you've got your sport version, which comes with a 5.7 liter. And actually the Luke's all wheel drive only comes in the 3.5 liter. And then 5.7 liter Luke's or Lux, I guess it's Lux, not Luke's. What am I saying? It comes with a 5.7 liter, but it's not all wheel drive. So we got our sport models here. We got our automatic and manual, of course. Then we have an off-road version. I saw this one in the trailer and it looks pretty pretty cool so here's the off-road version of the Bruckle Bastion and yeah it's pretty cool it's lifted it's got big tires that are semi deflated for maximum grip on rough terrain and it looks like lots of fun to take down trails and stuff so I'm gonna do that uh, but here it is pretty cool looking car it's got 
Bash bars front and back, replacing the standard bumpers. Uh, it's lifted and it's got these steely rims on it. I think it's got, I think it's got the sport. Um, oh, I'm doing a burnout. It's, I think it's got the sport V8 in it, so that would be the 5.7 liter. I don't think it has the one from the insane version, which we're gonna get to. Yeah, that's that's that one. Okay, so after the off-road one, we have another Lux version, except this one. Oh, this one's the all-wheel drive 5.7 liter one. Okay. I don't know why it's down here, but okay. Next up, we have our police unmarked uh, police unit. Obviously in real life, pretty much most police cars or Dodge Chargers is like the generic police car nowadays. You have your unmarked version, which is basically a ghost car. And then you have your squad car version, which has got all the, all the, the police livery on it. So yeah. Then after that, we got the Sport GT. Oh yeah, that one looks pretty cool. So here's the Sport GT. It's got a bigger bumper on the front. It still has the 5.7 liter, which is kind of weird. Let's pop the hood open. Wow! So it's sort of got an LS engine by the looks of it. it like it's based off the LS, even though this is more of like a Dodge Charger. So it wouldn't have like a, a Hemi looking engine, but the later ones I know they look more like Hemis because they got the big superchargers on them. Yeah, so different bumpers different bumpers different back bumpers i'm pretty sure and the front bumper looks different than the stock one uh actually no the sport gt has a 6.5 liter so bigger engine i think that's actually the biggest engine so this is the first car with the biggest engine that's the automatic version and you also have a manual version for it you have a street tune version uh which is pretty cool oh it's got a turbocharged v6 in it it's basically just got really really fancy rims on it you can see, look, look at how fancy they are. Very big, very big rims, little tires. So it's got the V6 in it, but it's turbocharged. If you guys can, oh, that sounds good. Listen to that. Oh, that blow off valve sounds so good. Let me just rev it up here. Oh, it's an automatic, so I can't. Anyways, let's take it for a drive. I just want to listen to this engine. It sounds so good. Listen. Ah, oh, that sounds good. Ah, oh, the blow off valve sounds so good. Anyway, so this is the this is the street tune version. It's got a very nice sounding V6 in it. Oh, it sounds so good. Anyway, so that's it basically. It's just a fancy um, modified version, one you would see some teenager make. Next up, we have the Hot Lap Special, right here. Uh, so this is obviously more like a a hot lap version so this is made for racing uh we could actually go to the track later on um but here it is basically just a quick look at it uh this front the front of the uh of the bastion this one actually looks more like a mustang on this one uh i think it might be this bottom grill section right here that makes it look like a mustang for this one but anyway there it is it's got these custom uh rims on it uh, it's got a splitter on it. I'm sure the internals are upgraded. It's got this small little wing in the back uh, Yeah, and I'm sure it's very grippy and very fast. Let's try it out Yeah, it's got lots of grip Wow, I'm so good at driving. Oh, yeah Fantastic after that one we got the battle hawk uh, so this one comes in an automatic and a manual. So let's go ahead and grab the manual version here. Here is the Battle Hawk. Uh, let's hop into the interior actually. So, ooh, this is nice. Okay, so this is the brand new Battle Hawk and it looks pretty good. Uh, this is actually the first uh, supercharged version of the car. So you can, you can hear a hint of that supercharged whine in there. Yeah, so with this is actually the first one of the insane models of the Bruckle Bastion. These are supposed to mimic the configurations for the Dodge Charger in real life, which are the uh, the Red Eye and the Hellcats, like the insane supercharged version of them. So this one, I believe, would represent just the Hellcat. So as you can see, it's called the Battle Hawk instead of a Hellcat, uh, and it's got a pretty cool sporty dash in this one. It's got hawks on them and sort of the same design as the Hellcat symbols. I'm in the manual one right now and we got these red, red and black leather seats, which look pretty cool. Apart from that, uh, pretty, pretty basic. Anyways, pretty cool. 
And we got a custom, uh, oh shoot. Whoa! I would have died there. We got the B on the steering wheel, which is a brand new logo for Bruckle, I believe. So, sort of the modern, modern version of Bruckle. So, some styling on this, on the, the Battle Hawk. We have different front and rear bumpers. Uh, and we also have this, this red accents on the grill on the front and a red accent uh, actually we don't have one on the back never mind and we have this cool little GT wing on it uh, we also have this bigger front bumper thing uh, back we got a way bigger diffuser uh, which makes the car look super wide and it's got these cool square exhausts that go on the sides like that on to the next factory version of the car we have the the red tail so this is the craziest version of all the bastions you can choose so this is basically the hellcat red eye so this is basically the uh, fastest version of them it's got the biggest engine the biggest supercharger and this thing's basically made for going in a straight line it can't really do anything else it can sort of turn if you decide to slow down but i don't think the brakes will help that much by the speed you're going anyway let's just take it for a drive and i'll show you what i mean it's very loud just a warning listen to this Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. I told you, it doesn't work very good. Anyway, yeah, it's it's very fast and it doesn't like turning. As you can tell. And it likes it likes drifting a lot. Look at this. Then after that, we got two more versions. We have a drift car version, and like the off-road version, the front and rear bumpers have been replaced. And yeah, it drifts. Then the final version we have is the drag car version. So here is the drag car version of the Bruckle Bastion. And it's pretty insane. It sounds turbocharged, which is cool. Uh, we have these huge rims in the front, which look to be just black painted versions of the ones we saw on the Street Tune version. And on, in the rear, we have our <laughs> drag tires, uh, which you need when you're drag racing the get maximum grip and stuff interior wise i'm pretty sure this is a stripped down version yeah there's no other seats except for your seat uh and it's not it's not a racing seat which is very surprising uh, of course you have your your um your roll cage and everything on the inside looks pretty cool it's really safe for you i'm pretty sure that this is also found on the drift car version of it um it's an automatic uh which actually believe it or not most drag cars are if you didn't know that fact already uh, because shifting is just a waste of time. The rear tire compared to the front tire actually kind of look kind of ugly. Kind of look kind of ugly. <laughs> in my opinion. But that's my opinion. I, Who cares about my opinion, right? Let's head over to the drag strip. To test this car out. And how fast it goes. I can fast travel now. Right. I completely forgot about that. Watch this. Whoa. I can actually just go right here. Quick travel. Whoa, I don't even have to wait anymore. This is the best. We're gonna leave the drag car for last for our drag expedition we're gonna do. Let's start out by taking up uh, something a little bit more basic. We're not gonna go with the stock ones because that's a little too boring. Hey, you know what, why not? We'll go with the all-wheel drive version. Let's, let's just take them all out for a spin, why not? So the top one we got here is the 0 to 60 timer, and then this is, is the, the the quarter mile time. Anyway, we're gonna, so first up we got the poverty spec all-wheel drive version, which has a V-sex in it, so this is like the most basic version you can get of it. Anyways, ready, set, go. Six seconds. That's not bad. So we got a 6.3 on the zero to 60 time. And for the quarter mile, we got a 14.8. Wow. Okay, so not not overly fast. But compared to the old cars, that that's not bad. Uh, 6.3 is pretty good for a base model. I mean, it's not blistering speed compared to more modern cars nowadays. But this is the base model, so that's pretty good. So I just want to see how crazy it's going to get with the next ones. So back at the beginning of the drag strip here, we're going to go ahead and grab a different vehicle now. Let's just hop straight to the, the sport version, 5.7 liter. Let's see how this one goes. 
it should be much faster. My guess is around five seconds. Or maybe just under five seconds. Anyways, three, two, one, go. Oh jeez, it's stalled, are you kidding me? Three, two, one, go. What are we, what are we gonna get? 5.9. Huh. Quarter mile in 14 seconds. That's a little disappointing. I didn't think it'd go in 5.9. I thought it'd be around five or under. Okay, we still got more cars to go, so I, I shouldn't be too cautious about things like that, but let's, get, let's head back and do it again. But we're gonna hop straight to the the Sport GT version, which is the uh, 6.5 liter V8, and we're gonna go with the, let's go with the automatic one. Uh, and let's see how fast this one goes. So I'm hoping five and under. That's, I hope for it. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. I was a little ahead of the line there, but that's fine. Zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds. That's more like it. Wow, that was a very slow reaction anyways. And 12.1 seconds for the quarter mile. That is much, much better. I think I jumped like one factory version and then we're up to three, six to 3.7, which is pretty insane. Uh, anyway, let's try out the, the next one which is the Battle Hawk. Hey, look, my engine's out. Uh, this is the Battle Hawk Bastion. We're gonna see how fast this one goes. The last one was pretty quick. So this one, I'm open for like a 3.50 to 60 time and about 11 second quarter mile. So let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Three seconds. Holy crap, that's fast. We got a 3 seconds 0 to 60 time. That's insane. And the 10.9 quarter mile. So I was I was right on the quarter mile part. Ooh, that's fast. That's really fast. I didn't think I thought the next one was going to get the 3 the 3 second time. So that's crazy. This car's crazy fast, you guys. It's pretty cool though. I like it. I really like this car. It's pretty cool. Great addition to Beam Engine Drive, I must say. Excellent, excellent, sir. Do keep in mind this is on a drag strip, uh, so the ro the drag strip pavement is way stickier than a normal road. So just keep that in mind that it won't actually go this fast on a normal street. Next car, we have the final one that we're going to be testing. Actually, no, we're going to test the drag one. Anyway, this is the f the final factory version of the car. It's the most insane version you can get from the factory. This is the Bruckel Bastion. Battle Hawk Red Tail. So this thing is absolutely insane. I'm suspecting crazy times from this, like 2.8, 2.8 hopefully. The back, the actual, actually the back design up here actually looks sort of like the Daytona that they sell, the Daytona trim for the Charger in real life. But anyway, let's get into this. Let's see how fast this car can go. Here we go. Red Tail. Three, two, one, go. Holy crap, 2.8! I guess the roundup is 2.9, but anyways, that was right! Zero to 60 times, quarter mile, 10 seconds? 10.6, wow! That is so fast! Are we gonna be able to slow down time? Yeah, we're, well, we're fine. That's insane, you guys! This thing's crazy fast! Woo! This thing's fast! Hey, we pulled the engine out again. Hey, there's the supercharger I was talking about. Uh, so yeah, that is the rest of the factory versions. Now we're gonna get it to the custom version, which is the custom drag version. And this thing, I'm suspecting, oh my goodness, less than two seconds, that would be insane. Like, crazy insane. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the drag one. This is the one with the weird wheels on the front and the back. Three. Oh my goodness, I am so crooked. No. Uh, Okay, three, two, one, go. 2.4, okay, so not as fast as I thought, but it's still super fast. 2.4 seconds, zero to 60. Holy crap, we're going fast. 9.2 in the quarter mile. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my goodness, we're going way too fast. 
I guess I should break as soon as we cross the line. Yeah, so this is the fastest one in a straight line by far. Let's try out a different version of the car. Da -da -da, police car is basically just a normal car, but with lights on it. Let's go with the hot lap special. Luckily, there's a track right around the drag strip, so we're just gonna head over there and do that. You turn, bro. I'm just gonna take it for a few laps, see how it drives. This car kind of drives like crap. Oh yeah, hot lap version, hey? Eh? I'm sure if I plug in my steering wheel, it'd be way better, but. Anyways, hot lap version, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, cause this recording's already 40 minutes? I gotta add 40 minutes of footage? Okay, let's speed this up, okay? Also with the brand new content update for 0.24.1, we got this car, wow! which is super cool. I did not suspect this at all. This is the brand new Civetta Bolide remaster. So the Civetta Bolide was in BMG Drive for a very long time. It's the knockoff Ferrari 308. It's actually one of the earliest cars that they added in the game. So with this brand new remaster, it's like a long lived dream because it's it was like really crappy before like not crappy, I shouldn't say crappy, that's kind of mean. Uh, but it wasn't up the standards compared to the new cars that were coming out. So with this brand new remaster, they basically redid the whole car. And they gave us like a whole bunch of configurations for it. Anyway, here it is. It looks absolutely gorgeous and it looks awesome. Looking at this brand new interior. Oh my goodness, this is the first time I'm seeing it. It's so nice. Oh my goodness, this brand new model it looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And the brand new engine bay. Wow, that looks awesome. So currently we're driving a more sportier version compared to the stock one. What is this one called? Uh, this is called the, the GT Targa. That's why it's got no roof because it's the Targa version. You obviously want the Targa version. I don't think there was a Targa version before. So it's super cool that they added it here. Let's go to a more appropriate location to review this. Italy. So here we are in the hometown of the Civetta Bolai. Uh, here we are in Italy to test out brand new Bolai. This is actually the first time I'm driving it. I don't know why I didn't. Great. Uh, so the Bolide before actually drove like crap as well because it's an old car and it just has too much power in it. And it appears the remaster has the exact same problem. Excellent. Anyway, if you don't full throttle it, it's semi drivable. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna drive around beautiful Italy and just chill. Glad they added the Targa because that's what everyone knows the 308 for and that's what it's based off obviously. You still have your pop-up headlights. Everything uh, design-wise is still the same for this car. Apart from the headlights, the headlights change size actually. Um, and everything's been redone. So it's basically a refreshed version of it. But I love the way how this new one looks. Let's get into some of the configurations that come for the new Civetta Bolide remaster. So here is all of them. We have our standard 350, uh, which is sort of like the base model for it. And then we have an American version. This is actually brand new. It is the American version of the car. So it actually has safety bars, which are time accurate. So this actually looks way more like something like the Magnum PI Ferrari 308 because it's got all these black bumper bars on it. It looks pretty cool. It's cool that they gave us the option. They were mandatory for imports in America that they had to have bumper bars. So we now have a US domestic market version of it, of each car, which is pretty cool. Anyway, after that, we have our 350 Targa versions. Uh, uh, then after those, you have the 390 GTs. You have the Targa versions of these ones as well. We have a very strange addition, which is just a surprising addition. Uh, here we have a brand new body kit for the Bolide, which is super cool. So it's not brand new exactly. This is why it's so surprising is because there were mods before, uh, before this brand new remaster, where they added the race car versions, uh, which looked very similar to these ones with the non pop up headlights and stuff which sort of make it look like an F40 Ferrari but they were just they were just mods they weren't official or anything but now they've added official versions uh, of those race car mods but anyway it's pretty cool to have these versions i assume they're supposed to drive better but it still drives like crap as oh my goodness it 
Dang it. So that is called the, the course version, which is for a course, like a race course. You also have the Targa versions of these ones, and you also have a US domestic market of those ones too, which have very big front bumper bars on them. And then we actually get into some older ones that we had before. We have the police car version, which we had before. Uh, we have a 350 Club Racer, which is new. We have a Note. It's basically a blacked out version. Cool, it's got race suspension and plenty of power, so that's cool. Uh, we have a top speed version. So this car probably drives the worst out of all of them, but it drives the fastest. So this is this be a good car for um, for just open maps, like grid map V2 or just grid map, you know, those ones. For that, we have the 390 GT Strata. Yeah, this is the version of the, the rally car version, um, except it doesn't have a race livery on it. So the back's cut out, so the engine's exposed. Kind of looks cyberpunky. We have a roll bar in here. So yeah, the cool that's another cool configuration that they've added. An actual rally car version, 390 GT Group 4 Gravel. I think the reason that they called it the Strata is that it kind of sounds like the Stratos, which is what the paint scheme on this new rally car version actually is based off of in real life. All right, so here we are on a dirt trail, and we're gonna take this rally car version out for a drive. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at driving. Or oh, this car just sucks. This probably be way better with my steering wheel, but I don't have my steering wheel plugged in right now. It's like beside me right here. Oh, uh, but right now I'm just using a controller, and it's not going very good, as you can tell. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah! No! Apart from that, this car looks pretty cool. Seems to be fast. Dang, we ended up in a tree. Okay, so how about I just take my time and drive around this thing? Oh my goodness! Feels like we're driving on ice. Too much power. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, that is the rally car version of the Bolide. Then for the final versions, we have the Group 4 version, uh, which is the rally car version, except it's made for the for roads instead of gravel. And then the final one we have is the Group 5 Bolide 320 GTR, which I think is probably the coolest looking one. Here it is. Wow, that looks pretty awesome. I hope this one drives better. And it's got so much aero parts. Like, look at this wide body kit on it. It looks super cool. Yeah, you know this place. Okay, so we're just gonna... Oh my goodness. Turbo lag is so bad on this car. Turn! Oh my goodness. Yeah, so the Bolide still drives really bad. How lovely. Even with all this aero stuff, I am struggling to even get around these turns. Oh uh, yeah, so that is the brand new Bolide Remaster. Voila, it's just beautiful. What else do you want, man? Anyway, uh, those are the two brand new cars in the brand new uh, holiday content update for B-Menu Drive. And I think they are pretty darn cool. The final thing that they, that's really big with this brand new content update is that they've added PBR materials to more maps. I mentioned this in my last video that they've only added the three maps before, and now they've added it to five more maps in the game. They've added it to the ETK Training Center, the Industrial Area Map, Grid Map V2, the Derby Map, which is like the, the Demolition Derby area, and of course, Hirochi Raceway. So those are the brand new five maps that PBR materials have been added to. They said that they're going to be adding them to all of them eventually. But yeah. Those have PBR materials now, which is basically just fancy graphic stuff that make the maps look really good. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, tell me what you guys think about the, the, the new remaster and what you think of the Bruckle Bastion. Uh, I, think, I think they're pretty cool. And yeah, I think they're a good addition to be a menu drive. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Merry Christmas and adios.